Hey everyone, Dark Horse here. Today I wanted to make a video to show you all of the new features in the brand new patch for Smash Remix. Uh, this is version 0.9.3. It just came out yesterday on May 12th. For those of you that don't know, Smash Remix is a mod for Super Smash Brothers, the original for N64. Uh, this mod features new characters, new stages, new training mode features, um, just tons and tons of new content. Uh, there's, um, there's around 80 new music tracks, but today we're mostly going to cover the stuff in the new patch. So right off the bat, uh, they changed the menu music. We're, uh, we're going to go ahead and Change that real quick. <laughs> Feels weird. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go down the patch notes and just go through all the new stuff. Uh, the first thing though is Lucas. The new character added. So let's play around with Lucas. Uh, Lucas. So Lucas is essentially a nest clone. Uh, so a lot of similar movement to Ness, uh, but the moves are very different. See that his neutral air is a multi-hit. His grab is a tether grab, he uses a snake. His up smash is crazy. I want to hit Yoshi with it. All right, so forward air is a kick. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it. Yeah. His back air is this crazy flip kick. Pretty sure it spikes. Yeah. So I can get combo with it. Oh, so close. Let's see, down here. If I can do it. Oh my gosh. Can't even plot drop on. Okay, so it's a. It's like Wario's. The, uh, not quite a drill, but the multi-hit down air. So we got the neutral air, forward air, the back air, oh yeah, up air. Huh, so this up air looks like kind of like a smaller version of Donkey Kong's. Where it like waves. Let's see, forward smashes. It's not the, it's a stick instead of the bat. Alright, let's try specials. Oh, so PK Fire has knockback now. Instead of uh, the multi hit like Ness. And it pushes him back when he uses it. Interesting. And then, so this is still down. His down special is still the the absorb, but it has a little extra hitbox at the beginning. See that little thing come out? And it comes out really early, so you can use it as like a parry. And um. You 
can cancel it kind of like Fox's down special. Where um, if you jump right before you use it, he'll land on the ground and it'll end. So if you quickly hit jump down B, you can do it and it looks like it happens really fast. I'm just, I'm not very good at it. Uh oh, I'm backwards. Save. Me. But you can like run at someone and do it. So it's it's a way you can like get people off of you. So yeah, Lucas uh, moves around very similarly to Ness. Uh, moves are pretty different though, so it really feels like a different character. Very cool. I'm not like a huge Earthbound fan or anything, so I don't really, I don't know all the the stories and everything behind Lucas. But uh, pretty cool character, especially if you like playing Ness. Uh, Lucas is a great character. Um, all these other characters were added in previous patches: like Wario, Dark Samus, Young Link, Doctor Mario, Ganondorf, and Falco. Uh, let's get into some of the other new stuff this patch. Um, I'm not going to talk about character changes. Uh, there were some changes to uh, Wario and Ganondorf and basically everyone. But let's look at some of the new stages now. Some of the new stages in this patch. So, the first new stage on the list is Hyrule Temple. This stage existed in a previous mod. That was on N64 Vault. Um, I forget who made it. it Might have been Snooplax. Um, but it was just it was really big and kind of laggy because of its size. And the remix team spent a lot of time getting it optimized so that it didn't feel so it felt better when you played it. But I mean, it's it's the whole stage. It's it's huge. Let's see. Let's see if Ganon can go all the way around. Oh yeah, easily. And this this is what we need. A, a 64 stage with ceilings. <laughs> Since you can't uh-oh. <laughs> so yeah, this stage would probably be really fun with four people, maybe some items. Everyone just going crazy down here in the fight pit. But very cool that this stage got added in. Not every stage needs to be some like crazy competitive stage. It's it's cool to have some fun ones in there too. And this is definitely one of them. I can see a lot of people playing on this stage and uh, a lot of people using it for a uh, future combo contest. Probably some crazy stuff that can happen on this stage. The next new stage is an earthbound stage or mother three. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know all the earthbound stuff. I'm going to keep calling stuff earthbound. Uh, New Pork City. This stage looks really interesting. And I like the music. So it's... It's like if you took WarioWare and just kind of stretched it out a little bit. I like it. It has the, the different platform heights. And I think these platforms are the same height as Dreamland. Maybe, maybe not. They're not higher though. I think they try, when they make these stages, they try not to make platforms that are higher than Dreamland. 
but very cool design. Um, similar to the Norfair stage in Brawl, except the platform extends all the way underneath uh, the first set of platforms. The main stage extends. I could see this stage getting played a lot casually and competitively. It's a really cool design. It's not hard to look at. The music's good. It pretty much has everything you want in a stage. I like it. Alright, another new stage. So there's two of them and they're kind of similar. Flat Zone. Flat Zone and Flat Zone 2. Um, it looks like maybe the only difference is where the platforms are. I don't know about Blast Zone sizes. These stages are especially unique in that the camera is fixed the whole time. So the camera doesn't do any zoom ins or anything like that. It stays like this the whole time. Um, kind of like uh, Rivals. Rivals of Aether has that fixed camera despite being a platform fighter. Another great music track. Alright, so the blast one's not crazy far away. Alright, this stage is pretty fun. I wonder if it looked differently, if it wouldn't feel as claustrophobic. Like, if instead of having these, like, Game & Watch, you know, walls. But, yeah, it's a fun stage. Um, there's no bottom blast zone. So if you're, uh, tired of getting, if you're tired of getting spiked down into the depths, you can play on this stage and, uh, it won't happen to you anymore. Look at Flat Zone 2. Actually, this stage is bigger. Alright, Flat Zone 2 is definitely bigger. So, you couldn't tell from looking at the, uh, the thumbnail. But there is a lot more room on this stage. Let's see how far the Blast Zone goes. Oh, yeah. So yeah, if you like the, the idea of Flat Zone with the fixed camera, if you, but you just want a bigger stage, definitely come here. I could see this one working out better for, you know, four players, uh, or even two players, just because it's bigger. Oh, that's a plat- wait, what? You can- each- level of the building. Oh, except that top one. Oh man, don't let don't let Boom and Gerson play here. Another Earthbound theme stage. Oshu? Oshu Castle? I'm gonna say I'm saying it wrong, but you can deal with it. So this stage is massive. Huge stage. Um only two platforms, but it has this rock in the middle that acts as a platform and a wall. So maybe some more com combo contest shenanigans. But surrounding this castle are two walls along the side. Um, so you can bounce people off the walls, and if you're recovering, you know, you have to go over them. And you can't grab the ledge. So if you end up on the other side of the wall, you have to get over it. If you're trying to grab, it doesn't work. So if you like huge stages, this one will probably be for you. Um, it's a little bit much for me. I can't see myself playing on it a ton. Um, and also the fact that you can't grab that that wall. It's kind of rough. 
They'll probably get used in combo contests, though. Any Anytime there are walls, it'll get used a decent amount. Like, you can just do fun little basic combos like that right off the wall. Really, it has more walls because of this. Okay, here's a stage I'm excited about. Yoshi's Story uh, from Melee, but with Yoshi's but with Yoshi's Island music from Super Mario World 2. It even has Randall. It even has the cloud. I wanna try it. Can I land on the cloud? Oh my god, you can. Wow. Okay, this stage is pretty amazing. Um, from here, the lowest part of the stage, the platform height is the same as Dreamland. So from the highest part of the stage to the platform, it's actually lower than Dreamland. So you'll have different characters will have different lands on these platforms depending on where you jump from, which is really cool. I can see this stage getting used a lot. Just because of how unique it is and how similar it is to uh, the, you know, triplat stages that we like to use, like Dreamland. And it looks great. This stage looks amazing. Like, some of the new stages, they're kind of hard to look at with uh, the color scheme. This stage is just, this is so good. Man, yeah, I'm gonna play on this stage a lot. And the added, like, silliness with the cloud is pretty great. Oh, it's kind of, cloud's small. It's kind of hard to land on. Oh wait, can you drop through the cloud? Let's see. You can. All right, more new stages. We got four more new ones. We're gonna do this one last. So, Gruta Valley. Finally, this this uh, audio track gets to shine. I forget if this was in the last release or not as an alternate track for Ganon's Tower, but now it gets its own stage. Um, very unique layout with the platforms. Um, this lowest platform is definitely higher than the side platform on Dreamland. Um, it has three platforms and kind of a weird, weird layout. I think uh, this is a stage from Smash for Wii U. I don't know if it's from Brawl, but yeah, layout, it's kind of weird, not symmetrical or anything, but the stage looks great, um, sounds great, so people definitely play here a lot, and let's see, can I go, or there's, it looks like there's a, like a lip, like you get, you could get stuck under there, but you can't, there's an invisible wall. So it's really just a, like a flat pillar for a stage, which is great. It helps a lot of people's recoveries. Yeah, really nice stage. Probably won't get used in a, like any serious competition just because of the how asymmetrical it is and how high the platforms are. But very cool layout, great music, looks good. They really put some good stages in this mod. It's it's honestly incredible. All right, Norfair. So Norfair is actually a stage I've been wanting them to make for a while, but I wanted it so that the um, Ridley's Lair music from Super Metroid could get added in. And here they they made Norfair. 
but then they <laughs> didn't use that music. So I was kind of bummed. Uh, this stage looks fantastic, though. Um, definitely a little weird with its asymmetry. So not a, not a competitive stage, but definitely a fun one. Um, you got the two platforms; they're kind of low, so that works for you know makes it easy for pretty much every character to move around. And this is the first custom stage with the lava or the acid as a hazard. So this this is a big deal. Um, it shows that uh, the remix team is just learning how to do more and more with this game. Um, and adding custom, because this isn't the same acid as uh, on the original Zeeb stage that comes with the game. So they, they re-textured it. Um, it moves at a different rate. It's also flowing um, left to right. So that's um, another unique thing it does. Uh, very cool though that they're able to add stages with hazards now. This is just awesome. All right, Congo Falls, uh, one of the last new stages to get added. Um, the music is the DK rap, so this looks similar, very similar to the uh, the melee stage um, with the two, t you know. Two tiers of platforms. They're very far apart. And yeah, the main stage that you can fall through. And the barrel. Who like who could forget the barrel? Thanks, barrel. Really appreciate that. Um This stage is pretty cool. It's unique for sure. The background. This, this 3D model in the background. I feel like the colors are like a little too saturated for me to be a background feature. I feel like if it were toned down a little bit, I would like it more. Um, it, it is cool to have a new stage though with a hazard, again like the barrel. So being able to add stuff like that just shows how far this team has come. Uh, definitely cool stage though. So the last new stage is Smash Get Ball. Um, so not only is this a new stage, it's kind of a new way to play the game. The NBA Jam music. So this stage has a ceiling. It has walls. The only way to lose stocks is to fall in the hoop. Good job, Fox. But, you don't have to knock them down there. There are these barrels on both sides. So, you don't have to knock people down into the hoop. If you hit them into these barrels, the barrels don't turn. So the only way, the only thing that happens is you get shot through the hoop. So it makes a really unique way to play the game. Um, play teams or uh, you could do my favorite which is 1v1 but add a level 1 Jigglypuff CPU and you just you have to try and whoever scores the most points with the Jigglypuff is the winner so this is just such a cool concept Such a cool con this is just such a cool concept. Um, great idea from the stage designers here. And giving everyone essentially a new way to play. Uh, I, I can see entire tournaments uh, being based around this stage. So there are no more new stages, but there is a new uh, one stage got changed a little bit, and I want to make sure I show that. Bowser Stadium. It looks like, you know, it's the same kind of just big flat stage, but you got these bombs added. These, This is a, t a completely new 
hazard. This didn't exist in the, you know, the original game. Um, these bombs that blow up when you run into them, and they come back. So you can use it as like an extra edge guard, or um, you could even use it to to do combos like that. Oh, uh, looks like they are they always there? Yeah. Okay, so it's always there. Come on, Ness. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wanted to show this feature because it's really cool and totally new. All right, the next the next part of this patch we're going to talk about is the addition of regional variants. Uh, they started this with the patch right before, um, but they didn't have very many regional variants. Now they have basically all of them. Uh, you can see with the D-pad, you can select um, different versions of a character when you mouse when you you know put your cursor over them. So by selecting D-pad left, I get Luigi. Japanese Luigi. Um, they had Metal Mario and Giant Donkey Kong in the last patch, uh, but now you see Japanese Mario, Japanese Donkey Kong, Japanese or the EU Link. So two different versions of Link, two different versions of Samus. Japanese Falcon, two different versions of Jigglypuff. Like it even changes the name. Um, two different Pikas, Japanese Fox, Japanese Kirby, J Yoshi, and J Ness. So all these different regional variants now can be played. Um, and when you pick one, it even if it has a different announcer, it'll use it. And when you play as one of these characters, um, the hitbox, the sounds of hits change. So using Japanese characters, you get the Japanese hit sounds. And you can see, yep, yep, definitely Japanese puff. That rest is terrible. So pretty cool. You can play all these different versions yeah, pretty cool. You can play all these different versions of the characters now. Um, that's something that a lot of people wanted after they got a taste uh, last patch. All right. So one of my favorite additions to S Smash Remix in general has been the music. And in here, there are now 123 songs in the sound test. Um, the original game, I think, has 47. <laughs> So almost 80 new music tracks have been added, and that's just the music, like victory music and stage music. Um, not even going to go into how many new sound effects there are with all the characters, um, but tons of new music. And also, um, you have these music settings, so you can choose uh, what menu music plays. Uh, you can choose random or not, and you can turn on or off different tracks for random or just in general. So if you just have like 10 songs you really like, you can turn them on and turn everything else off and then put it on random. And look at all this music. There's so much. All right, the next new thing we're going to jump into, um, they added board the platform stages for some of the new characters. Not all of them yet. Um, like Wario still has Jigglypuff's board the platforms, which is very appropriate for him and really fun to play. Um, so despite being a stage we already know, it's still pretty great. Uh, Lucas has Ness's stage and Falco has Fox's stage. So Dr. Mario, Young Link, Dark Samus, and Ganondorf have their own board the platform stage. So let's check out Young Link. Because Young Lynx has hazards. Like a lot of them. They put these bumpers in. They put spikes in. Rotating platforms. He really, uh, really went crazy with this one.
I thought it'd be funny in the trailer to show just bonking my head on that one. But here, I'll complete it for you guys. So, yeah, totally unique board the platform stages. Dark Samus's is, it's pretty funny that this is Dark Samus's and not regular Samus's. Because it's essentially an escape. Like, uh, in the Metroid games. We're just doing a tower climb. So, just make your way up. This really shows all the different jump, <laughs> you gotta know all the different jump heights to do this efficiently. Uh, Dr. Mario got his own board the platforms. No, come back. Oh, nice. Is it only one? No, there's two. Oh, speedrunners, have fun with that. I mean, this one's already done. Troll. That's a troll one. It says go that way, but I want to go there. Oh, it's lava. No. Nah. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Oh, that's so cool. You can go through it, but you can't, you can't, you can jump up through it, but you can't drop down through it. What the heck? It's, this stage is crazy. Wow, that's a, that's a crazy stage. Good, good work. And then the last, the last custom one, Ganondorf. Not this time, platform. Oh no. Oh no. We have to go back. Hmm. We can't. We can't get back. What do we do? We screwed up, guys. Oh man, we messed up. Wow, really cool stage though. So you have to go there first. Good to know. So another new feature with these stages, with the stage list, um, is the ability to turn hazards and moving platforms on and off. Um, so if we pick a stage that has moving platforms like Fountain of Dreams, and we turn movement off, so we hit L twice, two or three times. So you have hazards off, movement on, hazards on, movement off, or both off. So we go here, and now the platforms don't move. So if you like this stage, but you don't want to, you don't want the platforms to move. There you go. You have that now. If you want to play on Norfair but you don't want the lava, turn hazards off. And now there's no lava. So another great feature that got added, the ability to turn hazards on and off, moving platforms on and off. Um, so cool, I'm really glad to see it. All right, so one of the last um, really big new features in this patch have been changes to training mode. So one thing they did, they had they had this before where you can set custom spawns. Um, there was a restriction where the spawns had to be standing. Now they don't, so that's pretty cool. You can have someone falling. All right, so another feature they added is the quick reset you can just hit left on the d-pad to reset so no more 
No more of that. You can just hit left. You also have these different, these other toggles, which I didn't know about. So, you can pause without pausing. Very cool. Um, f oh, frame advance. Which is always a useful thing in training mode. Like, you see, training modes in other fighting games have things like frame advance. Um, and then the model display, you can um, put it in hitbox mode. You can show, I don't, I don't know the technical names for these things, but this, this has to do with um, like DI and grabbing ledges, that purple box, see? Anyway, uh, pretty cool. And then skeletons, I guess, because why not? Um, but one, probably the, going to be the most talked about addition to this training mode is right in here, shield break mode. So with shield break mode, what happens is the computer will hold shield and then escape shield as fast as possible once hit. So you get to practice setups, like shield pressure setups. So like that was a that was true shield pressure. That was, and then as soon as I went to jab, it wasn't anymore. So you um, characters with shield break setups can practice that, um, and all characters can practice um, shield pressure. So you know what's true and what's not. Um, this is just a really cool feature um, that they worked really hard to get implemented and it seems it seems simple um, it took a lot of work and they're very happy to get it out see not true but really this patch is just incredible um, now with seven new characters and 49 new stages, um, almost 80 new music tracks, new training mode features, stage hazards, toggles, Japanese characters, European characters. Um, there are even toggles and options where you can play this like the Japanese version of the game. Um, there's just so much in this patch. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, link to the, uh, the patch in the description. Uh, down below and uh, Yeah, go play it. You can play it on Computer on your emulator. You can play it if you have an EverDrive or a flash cart. Uh, you can play it on Android uh, I think You can play it on your Wii it, you, It's it's crazy um, If you want to know more you can join the smash remix discord uh, the link is also down there. So check that out and uh, Yeah, hope you have fun with it. I'm sure you'll see some tournaments in the near future Maybe some Smash Football. Uh, but yeah, go play it, have fun, and uh, I'll catch you later.